In this video, I'll be talking about more news regarding Follow and Balagan, as apparently Monaco could be preparing another bid, and also news about Imeric Laporte, as apparently Arsenal have an interest in him. I also discussed some other players such as Nicolas Pepe, Nuno Tavares, and more. So starting off with the Balagan news, and this came from Fabrizio Romano. He said not only Inter but AS Monaco want to try and bid again for Follow and Balagan. They obviously had a proposal rejected on Monday, and he's still a top target to replace Biel Mbolo who broke his ACL. Both Inter Milan and Monaco expect to have a situation clear this week. Matteo Bonetti, I believe he works for CBS and he said that Inter Milan are fighting off Monaco to secure the signing of Follow and Balogun. Obviously the big difference that Inter Milan have that Monaco don't is Champions League football. And let Equip was saying that Arsenal rejected the 30 million euros offer from Monaco for Balogun. Monaco not giving up as they need to replace Mbolo who is obviously injured. So we all know that Monaco had an approach rejected for Balogun as Arsenal you know, rejected their verbal offer. We didn't know exactly how much that was but Lequip are saying 30 million euros. If that's true then that would 100% be getting rejected as Arsenal are just going to never accept that. But Inter Milan are now there after losing out on Lukaku and then losing out on Skamaka. Lots of other clubs interested as we all know but it kinda seems like the two main teams fighting for Balogun is Inter Milan and Monaco. Inter Milan obviously can't afford the price but they are obviously talking to Balogun and it's said that Balogun would actually prefer to join Inter but if Monaco put in a better bid than Inter Milan then obviously Arsenal are going to accept that bid. It looks like that Monaco will try bid again it's just how much that's going to be and if it meets Arsenal's asking price because 30 million euros is nowhere near that so they're going to have to you know up that quite massively and have to wait and see what happens. Obviously Balogun really looks like he will be leaving as he's been barely playing for Arsenal recently. As we all know he wants first team game time so it looks like he will be leaving permanently. It's just what team to and what team will put up this amount of cash that Arsenal want. Have to wait and see but still plenty of teams interested in Balogun but it looks like Monaco will try and bid again very soon. But moving on to this next piece of news about Laporte and I found this quite interesting. Ex West Ham employee was obviously talking about West Ham transfers and he's very good when it comes to transfers and for West Ham he was saying that keep an eye on Laporte because both clubs have a good you know relationship and that could potentially lead to a deal but he says while he has Spurs and Arsenal interested if his future isn't resolved towards the end of the window again West Ham could come in so he confirms that Arsenal have an interest in Laporte as well as Spurs and if you don't know about Laporte's situation obviously Manchester City just bought Gavardio so Laporte you know he barely got game time last season and that will be even less this season if he does stay so he is one that really looks like he could be moving on it's just a matter of when really because I doubt he would want to stay at City he would barely playing West Ham being interested I'm not sure if he would go there because he, I think he's probably better than that. Spurs and Arsenal being interested is obviously very big as well because Arsenal obviously love to buy an X-Man City player and could this be another one? I'm not sure. I do think that they probably are interested but I just don't think this will lead to a deal because look at our defensive options. We have Gabriel, Tierney, Saliba, Zinchenko, Timber, you know all these guys and loads of options for the centre-back position so could I see us splashing like a 40 to 50 million for another player I doubt it so I think maybe this one could lead to him going to Spurs as that's more likely as they want defenders but also I highly doubt it maybe later in the window you get more on this or maybe this is just pure interest and that's it have to wait and see but interest is pretty much confirmed that Arsenal do like Imeric Laporte but on to some news about some potential departures and this news came from Sky Sports. They said that Werder Bremen and Wolfsburg are interested in Arsenal left back Nuno Tavares. Tavares who Arsenal value around 13 million is attracting interest from clubs in England and Italy as well from the two Bundesliga clubs. And Sam Dean in his article was saying that Nuno Tavares and Pepe are expected to leave the club in the coming weeks with Burnley talking to Laconga on loan. The Laconga news obviously will 
waiting for that to develop. They're in advanced talks and have to wait and see what happens there. Pepe I'll get into next after this, but onto Nuno Tavares, it's quite obvious that he probably will be leaving. Will it be permanently? Will it be alone? I don't know. I don't think Arsenal would be against either, to be honest. It depends if they can maybe afford the 13 million. Would any club be willing to pay that? I don't know. Marseille, he was obviously at loan last season and they didn't want to buy him permanently. So it looks like he's back at Arsenal at the moment. Not playing any games, obviously, because he's not in Arsenal's plans and will just get no minutes. So it looks like Arsenal want him to leave. Maybe it's alone. Maybe it's permanently. Maybe it depends. Have to wait and see. But there's plenty of interest in the player with, you know, Germany teams joining in the race as well. And about Marquinhos, I was talking about his loan move to Nantes pretty much already done. Or not already done, it's getting done. And I was talking about a potential buy option in there. However, Lit Equip quickly disregarded that and said that they will not have an option to buy in their loan deal for Marquinhos. They do mention that their medical is imminent and Ryan Taylor also commented that he is set to join Nantes on loan. The agreement is in principle between the clubs and the final details are being negotiated. So we all know that this deal should be happening now. Marquinhos going on loan in France should be a decent loan as well. Hopefully he does well and raises his value. But the question was, was there going to be a buy option of 13 million as some people reported yesterday? But Little Quipper say, nope, there's no buy option. There's no selling clause. There's nothing. There's just a pure straight loan and he'll return to Arsenal at the end of the season. So it does look like it is just a straight loan. And to be honest, I don't mind it. You know, just get some minutes under his belt. Let's hope he, you know, starts week in, week out. And if he does well, that will obviously benefit Arsenal, whether they want to sell him for a good amount of money or maybe keep him at the club. Have to wait and see, but it looks like Marquinhos is set for his loan in France. And speaking of more departures, Nicolas Pepe, Ryan Taylor was also talking about his future. And there was lots of talk about Besiktas being interested and in Arsenal preparing to terminate Pepe's contract so he can join them for free. But Ryan Taylor was saying that Arsenal are yet to warm to the mutual termination of Nicolas Pepe's contract following conversations with his representatives. Pepe wants to join Besiktas who remain interested but do not wish to pay a transfer fee. Another Turkish outlet was talking about the deal on the right and they said that they have an agreement. The club are literally just waiting for the player's agent who made a promise to them that they will succeed in terminating their player's contract with Arsenal. So quite a few good reports and saying that you know Besiktas really want him and they really you know are interested in getting the player but just don't want to pay an actual fee. And apparently there's an agreement but it does seem that the thing holding up this deal is Arsenal's reluctance to terminate his contract. I think Arsenal are probably willing to terminate his contract as they pretty much know that they can't get a fee for the player. But following conversations with his representatives maybe there's a little hold up there. Maybe Pepe and his agents want good money to you know get paid off and Arsenal are refusing to do that. I probably think that's the reason. So hopefully that can get resolved as Pepe is literally just not in Arteta's or Arsenal's plans. I think he's training on his own at the moment as he knows that he will be moving on this summer. Pepe wants to go to Besiktas so hopefully there shouldn't be you know any problems there regarding personal terms. But just a little hold up regarding you know the terminating of the contract so I'll have to wait and see if this can get resolved. Hopefully it can as it's you know best for all parties to move on. Besiktas want Pepe, Pepe wants Besiktas and Arsenal you know don't want the player at the club anymore. So I have to wait and see if this can get resolved and see when or if Pepe joins Besiktas. And finally just a little bit of news here at the end and Sam Dean was talking about the Kieran Tierney news yesterday and he confirms that it's true. He says that Real Sociedad want to send Kieran Tierney on loan. Tierney still obviously has interest from Newcastle and Aston Villa but it's Real Sociedad have Champions League football as well as Newcastle. So Kieran Tierney obviously he looks like he can be in Arsenal's plans. It's not like he's been you know completely omitted from the squad. Although he's not starting games he is coming off the bench and getting good minutes like in the Community Shield match. But he's obviously not starting and if Kieran Tierney wants to start week in week out then it's probably best for him to go. But Newcastle and Aston Villa who were interested in buying him permanently have kind of gone quiet on that deal. And it's Real Sociedad who want the player however it's on loan and I just don't think anybody's going to accept that as I said yesterday. Arsenal if they're going to let him go have no reason to let him go on loan as I don't even think they'll up his value. You know he didn't want to sell him permanently if they are going 
looking to sell. And Kieran Tierney probably wants his future resolved, so I don't think he would want a loan either. So it looks like Kieran Tierney will stay at Arsenal unless a good offer comes in. Because he can be a useful asset, so me personally, I don't actually mind him staying at the club as he is pretty useful. But then again, if he goes, I would understand it as we have lots of options there and Kieran Tierney obviously isn't first or even second choice. So unless a good offer and a permanent offer comes in for Kieran Tierney, then I doubt Arsenal will be selling him. Have to wait and see though, maybe Newcastle or Aston Villa could come back in the window later on or maybe Real Sociedad will try and put in a permanent offer. But news on the right from Tuto Sport and they said that Juventus have abandoned their pursuit of Thomas Partey as they feel that their deal is too expensive for now. I mean I think this news was coming, Juventus obviously had contacts with Partey and they are interested in acquiring the player but Arsenal want about 30 to 40 even 50 million and Juventus just aren't going to pay that so it looks like this deal will slowly come to an end I'm sure there'll be more rumours of Juventus you know wanting loans and you know other stuff for Thomas Partey but unless they can stump up a good 40 million at least then I highly doubt Arsenal will be letting Thomas Partey go Thomas Partey obviously played well against Manchester City and Arteta said he doesn't want to sell him so it looks like he will be staying at Arsenal for at least one more season Juventus obviously still have interest in the player but simply can't afford him but that's it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure you let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below what are your thoughts on the Kieran Tierney situation do you think a loan is ridiculous and Arsenal shouldn't even consider that the Thomas Partey news as well do you think he'll stay or go Pepe Marquinhos and Tavares what do you think will happen in their futures even though it looks like Marquinhos is on loan I Merrick Laporte Arsenal obviously have an interest so do you think this interest could go further and following Balogun it looks like Monaco will be bidding again so do you think this bid will be good or do you think you know Arsenal won't be able to sell him properly because these teams simply can't afford the 40 to 50 million but again thank you guys so much for watching make sure you check out the daily Arsenal news video I did yesterday I talked more news about Arsenal rejecting Monaco's approach and obviously Matt Turner who's set to join Nottingham Forest that deal is pretty much done he's going to be doing his medical and it should actually be announced later today or even tomorrow but make sure you check out that video which should be popped up on the screen by now and make sure you subscribe to the channel as well make sure you smash a like on this video and i'll see you in the next one